スーパーノヴァ Alright guys, we're back again for yet another Bleach Brave Souls video, and it's time to showcase Yeah, so he's finally in the game. It took him long enough, and uh... Mask, I hate to tell you this, but you're not a superstar, you're a super bot. So, uh, yeah, we finally got him in the game, and unfortunately, he is just a NAD unit specifically made for GQ. And it's his Volster and Dish form, not even his base form. That's just so disappointing. Like, bro, come on. We get the best version of him, and uh, he's just meant to be used as an auto unit? Really, bro? We don't know if we're getting a base mask, by the way, but whatever. It is what it is. Now, unfortunately, as the time of me recording this video, the Nightmare Stern Rear Guild Quest is not on to tackle on. So in this video, I'm not going to be showcasing him for that. I'm mainly going to be showcasing him for uh, PV content, epic raids. But anywho, all you guys really need to know is that he is a character made for the Stern Rear Guild Quest rotation, and he is a character that can boost. Now. Certain Rider is still a bad GQ rotation, but now with Mask coming out as the NAD character with the boosting uh, skill, uh, yeah, pretty much this helps complete the GQ rotation, and now it's a bit better to tackle on and get even higher scores. Now, you can already get really high scores with True Shikai once you have a match from Sended, but with this one, uh, it'll definitely make it easier for when it comes to tackling on Nightmare and get even better scores. Okay, minus 2-5, level 10 attack and focus. I was unfortunate with getting Candace, but I did at least get him uh, beefed up, so he should be good to go, and has a normal attack damage soul trait of 35%. This is the second of its kind, if I'm not wrong, and it's overall going to be a really good link for other speed characters that come out that are NAD based, so pretty much a good link for my uh, Christmas Nelio. So I gave him full stamina, damage boost, and attack for the showcase, but uh, once I do bring him in Guild Quest, I'm changing the attack bonus ability to damage the last rated enemies because it's going to pair so well once we proc elements with True Shika. And uh, yeah, like I stated before, he can boost, and if you want to use him in PV content, which we're going to do in this video, you can because guess what, he has long range of 20%, sprint plus 1, and guard break, though so nothing is going to be stopping this character for when it comes to autoing and when you want to manual play with this character. So. Yeah, 105% normal tag damage altogether thanks to the uh, skills, 70 plus the 35, so yeah. Has last edge, pretty okay for autoing. I don't think it's really that necessary for Gale Quest, but it can be pretty useful. Is immune to weakening, which is what you would want to have on this character because he is made for Gale Quest and there are weakened puddles. And of course, the infamous flurry plus one, flurry plus two in Gale Quests. Look! We're getting SP characters with Frenzy plus 2, Frenzy plus 3 in Guild Quest. Why are we still stuck with Flurry plus 1? At least give this character Flurry plus 2 and Flurry plus 3 in Guild Quest. Like, is that overkill? I don't think so, bro. I really don't think it's that much of an overkill. God damn it. With 30% melee damage in Guild Quest and 50% killer effect. Like, pretty much traditional Guild Quest skills. With Enhancer, Poise, Medic, Booster, and... Yeah. Pretty much about it. Let's get built up and ready to go. All built up and ready to go. We have ourselves a golden chappy, chappy, bay, total with 30% attack. Elder belt with nad 25% and 16% purity. He does not inflict ailments, so we can easily use that elder belt link onto him just fine, except for Gale Quest. Tsukishima with 20% nad and 16% full stam. And then this Yamo right here, which gives out normal attack damage of 40% when at full stam only. So, yeah, we're looking at. A crazy increase in our normal attack damage, and we should see the best that we can do out of here. Halibel and Suki are already 5 5. She does have 500 attack with uh, the uh, 6 slot, a uh, level 10 attack. This Sukishima, same thing, just the 6 slot, unfortunately, isn't at 500 attack, so rather it's 2 star attack, and then this Yama's just 1 5. I pulled them from uh, Brave Soul Summon Sick It, so that's how I pretty much got them. <laughs> I didn't even summon on the banner, and uh, yeah, look at that. We got ourselves. 6k attack stat, and with us, we're just going to be bringing uh, this uh, Swimsuit Candice right here because she does provide an extra 20% more normal attack damage to speed characters overall. So, that's all you guys really need to see here, and 
let's just get right into it. This is Lengthlock Trial, so uh, you'll see the best that uh, Mask can pretty much perform here. Now, if you guys want to auto with this character, I mean, his Nat String is pretty much the same as you would expect out of any other melee Mad Unit. Pretty boring, just the typical first three hits and with the final hit being an AoE all around him. That's it one is going to be like a tiny shotgun blast in front of him, nothing too crazy. SA3 is full no, it's a lunge, so excuse me. And then his SA2 is going to be the boosting attack. It's just a small AoE all around him, so nothing too crazy. Now let's get to seeing the damage he can do. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty solid. And this is with the boost after. Oh, we need to be careful here. Oh my god, we've got Ningen mobs, bro. Oh my god, that's scary. Very scary indeed, bro. The boost is about to run out soon, huh? At least the SAs will come in clutch for when it comes to just, you know, going through the mobs. But I am so tired of seeing these NAD characters, honestly. Can we just get actual Flurry plus 2 permanent and see some kind of return to the normal attack damage uh, buff? Like, the last NAD unit to have it was Thousand Air Blower Aizen, and it's been way more than two years now. We're literally about to reach... Two plus years without having an attack boost skill in the game at all, which is actually crazy. <sighs> I don't know, man. So oh, crazy. Like, guys, and I remember when I was using him in Limit Breaker Quest. That guy was fun as hell to replace Ringiku, and now it's like. But besides that, this character isn't really all that different compared to your typical mad character that is made for Gil Quest. You just do damage. You can auto with this unit. If you bring him into PvP, he's getting slapped because yeah. <laughs> uh, that that pose is not going to get old. Uh, yeah, I was saying he's going to get clapped in PvP because he doesn't have invincibility. He doesn't have any of the PvP stuff, so you're not going to be using this character overall. Uh, for autoing, you can for the point event. Not that hard. For co-op, I'm going to be honest, you're not really going to be using this character. Like, he's just slow, he's not safe to run with compared to many of the other better auto characters that we have in the game. And, uh, Epic Raids, I mean... Let's see how he performs there now, huh? Here we are in Epic Raids now. He is a, uh, times 3 damage bonus character, so he should be able to do just fine, but here's the issue. It's only gonna be in this type of effort grade whatsoever, and then that's pretty much about it. I don't think you'll be able to even use him in one of the harder epic grades once they return, like the uh, Second Coming Menos Grande, the Miri epic grade, and whatever came after that. I don't remember all the epic grades that were really hard. I think Kisuke was hard too, but let's just get into it and uh, get to see what this guy can do. Uh, let me change up the familiars real quick. There we go. So the familiars we popped on the Renji because we needed for the final phase, and then Noitora and Kisuke, just to pretty much have less, uh, you know, knockback and tracks. So we're a bit resistant to that. The setup is pretty much 100% the same. If you guys want to know how much uh, damage multipliers we have going for him, 150% normal attack damage. Uh, yeah, full stam at 101%. Full stam only normal attack damage of 40% and 60% damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment. So let's see how he'll do on his own. Now he should be fine for this type of epic raid in particular, but I'm just more so worried outside of the other epic raids. Okay, hold on. The damage is actually really good. So hold on, we just need for attacking for a bit. And boom. Ah, uh, this is not bad for a character without Flurry plus two, I'm gonna be honest. Like, we're actually putting in a lot of damage and the boost hasn't worn off yet. Again, it's gonna be mainly once we're outside of this epic raid that we'll see Mask struggle a bit. But if you want to use him as an epic raid farming character and just pop the Link's Off Potion links, the Droplet links, you guys can choose to do so. He's also a boosting character, but nowadays epic raids have gone a bit too easy to the point that you're just kind of better off using SP characters that can do a crap ton of damage and just give them the links. I'm gonna be honest. Other than that, not bad. Eh, I mean, it's a nat character. What were you guys expecting? That pretty much ends the showcase. Unfortunately, uh, we'll really get to see his best potential in Guild Quest once the time comes, so... 
Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos and all that good stuff. See you guys in the next one. So have a wonderful day, lads. Peace out. Bye. Sign out. Ciao, ciao.